welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials today we will discussing with stp and ntp or you can say the standard temperature and pressure condition and standard and normal temperature and pressure conditions and mole relations of cp and cv equal to r or you can say finally cp by cv that will be equal to gamma so let us start with the topic stp and ntp stp means standard temperature and pressure so at stp pressure p equal to 760 mm of mercury and that will be equal to standard pressure 1.01325 bar and the temperature 15 degree centigrade so it will be converted into the kelvin 288 degree kelvin so it is used for a gas calorimeter for calculating the calorific value of the gaseous fuels ntp so at ntp pressure p 760 mm of hg that will be equal to 1.01325 bar and the temperature t is equal to 0 degree centigrade so it will be approximate 273 degree kelvin so it is used for avogadro's hypothesis theorem characteristic equation for gas so that equation can be written as pv equal to mrt and you can say at the 1 kg of mass that will be written as pv equal to r into t so this equation gives the relation between pressure volume and the temperature the unit of r can be find as follows so r equal to PV upon M into T. So for unit of the pressure Newton per mm square volume meter cube mass kg and temperature in Kelvin. So finally it will be converting into joule per kg Kelvin or you can say kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So for air value of R at normal temperature and pressure can be found as follows. So at NTP P equal to 1.01325 bar volume of air that will be 0.774 meter cube and T equal to 0 or you can say 273 degree Kelvin. So put the value into R and you can get the answer 287 joule per kg kelvin so that is the value of r for air at the ntp condition joules law of internal energy so the statement is there the internal energy of a perfect gas is a function of absolute temperature only and it is dependent on the independent of the pressure and the volume of the gas so internal energy just depends on to the temperatures it not depends on to the pressure and the volume so let us start with the first law of the thermodynamics one reservoir at the higher temperature and it will be supplied the heat to the system so heat supplied to the systems and work done by the system as shown from the diagram so total energy stored by the system and that will be q supplied minus work done so here remaining portion of the energy that will be stored by the system so e energy it will be stored into the system in the form of potential energy kinetic energy or internal energy so that total energy that will be equal to heat supplied minus work done but here for the adiabatic process so no heat transfer or work transfer so dq equal to dw and equal to zero so internal energy is zero why because potential energy and kinetic energy for this system 
it will be considering as a zero. So total energy that will be equal to the internal energy of the system. So internal energy that will be zero for the adiabatic process. So you can also say that the internal energy is only depends on to the temperature or you can say absolute temperature. So it is independent of the pressure or gas. But you can see if I am talking about the gas, so the internal energy is a function of volume and the temperature. So just you can see that del u that is equal to del u by del v at constant temperature dv plus del u by del t at constant volume that is equal to 0. So for the adiabatic process q is equal to 0. So del u by del v at constant temperature you can considering as a 0. So once again del u that is equal to 0 for the adiabatic process because in adiabatic process totally insulated system so there is no heat transfer and no work transfer. So q is equal to 0. So internal energy becomes 0. It means internal energy is directly proportional to the temperature. Or you can say the internal energy is a function of temperature. So here you can see vessel A and vessel B and vessel A having a P1 temperature, vessel B having a P2 temperatures. P1 is greater than P2. So without no external work, P1 it will be transferring into the P2. So two insulated vessels over here, so it will be considering as an adiabatic process. So P1 pressure is transforming into P2 pressure. So for the adiabatic process, internal energy is 0 as early we discussed. So we can see that internal energy is a function of temperature only. So pressure P1 in a vessel A is greater than the P2 into the vessel B. Vessels are connected by the pipe and valves. So valve is open and gas is allowed to expand free without any restrictions as per the law of conservation of the energy change in supply that is equal to store in energy plus work done by the system as early we discussed. So delta Q equal to delta U plus delta W but there is no heat transfer and work transfer on the system to surroundings to delta Q plus delta W that will be equal to zero. So hence internal energy it becomes zero. So after the free expansion no change in temperature is observed through the pressure and the volume changes. Thus changes in internal energy is the function of the absolute temperature and is independent of the pressure and the volume changes. Relationship between characteristics gas constant and two specific heat at constant pressure and constant volume. So let's start for initial state pressure P1, volume V1, temperature T1 and for the final state pressure P2, volume V2 and temperature T2. Let take the 1 kg of gas is heated at a constant pressure. So you can say the constant pressure process the work done is P into dV from state number 1 to state number 2. So P into V2 minus V1 and heat transfer is Mc delta T. But over here change in heat supply that at constant pressure so Cp and T2 minus T1 M is equal to 1. So finally dq is equal to Cp into T2 minus T1. So as for the first law of the thermodynamics dq equal to du plus dw. So heat supply that will be equal to 
work done plus store into internal energy so du equal to dq minus dw just put the value of dq and dw so du equal to cp into t2 minus t1 minus p into v2 minus v1 that will be the equation number one for the constant pressure process now let one kg of gas is heated at constant volume so work done is p into dv so p into v2 minus v1 that will be zero because constant volume process v1 equal to v2 and the heat transfer is dq is equal to m c v delta t that means dq equal to specific volume because constant volume cycle and the temperature difference t2 minus t1 as for the first law of the thermodynamics dq equal to du plus dw so du equal to dq minus dw just put the value of dq because work done is considering as a zero for the constant volume cycle so du equal to cv into t2 minus t1 that will be representing as equation number two now as per the joule's law internal energy is a function of temperature only and it is representing as a point function thus the equating point number one and two or you can say equation one and equation two cp into t2 minus t1 minus p into v2 minus v1 equal to cv into t2 minus t1 but pv equal to mrt here is the 1 kg of mass so pv equal to rt or you can say p v2 minus v1 that will be equal to r into t2 minus t1 to so just put the value of p v2 minus v1 in form of r into t2 minus t1 so cp t2 minus t1 minus r into t2 minus t1 that will be equal to cv t2 minus t1 so here t2 minus t1 is common out and it will be cancelled so finally cp minus cv that will be equal to r so specific heat of constant pressure minus specific heat of constant volume that will be representing as a r so let's see some more relations or important relations as per the cp minus cv equal to r so dividing by equation by the constant and volume specific heat or you can say cv so cp my upon cv minus r and that is equal to r divided by cp here cp minus cv you can say it will be the gamma function so gamma minus r equal to r by cv from cp upon cv that will be representing as a gamma just put the value of gamma so finally you can get cv equal to r upon gamma minus 1 dividing equation by specific heat or at constant pressure so cp so finally you get cp equal to gamma into cv or cp equal to r gamma upon gamma minus 1 mole and mole volumes of the sum of the substance the values of the cp cv and r for the different gases as follow so for the s value of cp 1.0035 cv 0.7165 and r 0.287 for the hydrogen it will be 14.209 cp cv 10.085 and r 4.125 oxygen 
value of CP 0.9216, CV 0.6618, R 0.2598. And for the nitrogens, value of the CP 1.0416, value of CV 0 0.7448 and R 0.2968. So different values of R for different gases. Thus for uniformity another unit is based use which is called as a kilojoule per mole, kilojoule mole. So thank you very much. Subscribe, like and share mechanical magic, mechanical learning tutorials.